My name's Aaron. Welcome back to my channel. How are you? I'm fantastic. And today I'm viewing Comme de Gassan, uh, Wonderwood. And this price was all over the place. It was £42 for 25ml, £59 for 50ml, and £76.50 for 50ml. I've seen this packaging everywhere, so I've never smelt it, so I'm quite curious about it. The top notes are Madagascan pepper, bergamot, incense, nutmeg, cashmere and galak wood, cedar wood, javanel. That's really unusual, but that's a raw material. Sandalwood raw material. I've never seen that before. Uh, sandalwood, vetiver, oud. <laughs> oh, I can't escape it. Do we have our fragrance samples? Are we engaged with our higher self? Let's get testing. So this I like very much and it reminds me of massively of Gucci Rush which I used to wear massively in the 90s when I used to go out clubbing so this I really like because it reminds me of that. I have a like a cabinet of treasures which is sort of fragrances which are almost impossible to get hold of which I've got and I like to look at because they remind me of really key times in my life and Gucci Rush is one I used to wear it non-stop so I associate it with really really good times in my life and I was so obsessed by this so there's a reason why I'm getting this There is such a similarity between the two. Bear in mind that the Gucci Rush is probably about 10 years old. I don't know how old it is, that bottle I had to pay. I think about nearly 200 pounds for it. This smells like an updated version of that, which is really, really interesting. And this is dry and herbaceous and very masculine. So it has the vetiver raw materials in there. Oak moss, eugenol. It has a very dry metallic musk at the backbone to give support. It has the, it's just uh, the patchouli and the cashmere and woods uh, are in there to uh, give extension and elevation up through the fragrance. Cedar woody raw materials, and you also have sandal raw materials. And I'm quite gobsmacked they've put javanol in there. Javanol is is a really nice sandalwood aroma chemical. It's very expensive, and it normally goes hand in hand with quite a few sandalwood raw materials. With these sort of raw materials, you have different sort of uh, feels to the sandalwood and you can combine them to make your own sandalwood accord and some are more um, I'd consider more excitory and they're very very expensive like uh, norlimbanol norlimbanol is a sandalwood wood raw material but I personally see it as going in sort of more the ambery wood sort of side you have bangalore and bangalore is a very sweet beautiful soft sandalwood note and then you have javanel which sort of sticks in between the two and javanel is sort of slightly more projecting but still sweet uh, i think i've got about 20 sandalwood raw materials they they can range from quite inexpensive to being no limbo is very very expensive and has lots of isomers that one's called um karma wood i think it's called karma wood and that one doesn't have the projection of no limbo but it's the isomer of it so i don't really buy it because it lacks performance as the isomer but it's cheaper there's something off about this if I'm really honest with you, it's, it's something off and it's the bitterness of the um, pepper actually combined with the usual, combined with the oak You have to be so careful in dealing with these very, very potent raw materials because they can really affect the feel of a fragrance. And to me, this feels like it's trying to be very, very masculine and very, very dry without balancing it with sweetness and with these sort of very masculine fragrances. I think it's quite good to have nuances of sweetness in there and that's what I would like to see a little bit more in that actually. It's the dry, so it has a lot of dry woods in the core. So this is very dry, very alpha masculine, but the musts are giving a cleanness to it, but I don't particularly like the pepper to it. It just dries down to such a beautiful elevating fragrance and I almost wish this had sort of dried down to a little bit more of an extension to it. I, I think the acetates and linalol combined and the top is sort of just sort of classic sort of high street and done really really well. This is actually quite monstrous for longevity and projection so that is the plus with it. I think when it comes down to things that are massively aroma chemical I tend to struggle with them on an emotional level because it always feels like it's a little bit something lacking 
uh, but that's such a personal thing and I prefer fragrances if they're going to be like this to be balanced with a tiny bit of sweetness and that is such a personal thing. On to my final thoughts. The dry down is much better and I can imagine after an hour this is sort of more palatable but initially that punch of pepper, the linalol, the acetates, the dry musks, the herbaceousness around the base just feels very aggressive and very, very masculine. And for me, there's something a little bit off about it, but this is on a really personal level. And the offness comes from the pepper mixed with the oak moss more materials, mixed with the sort of the usual, mixed with the uh, patchouli. That's very hard and dense. And then they've extended up through the formulation with sort of a little bit more hardness and then extending up with the cashmarin and then going into sort of the acetates and set upon my two super and heady on it's sort of it's that sort of feel to it and for me it feels a little bit too dry and a little bit too aggressive for my liking but the longevity and projection is fantastic on it but there's something smelling off about it there's a real bitterness to it and i don't really like bitter fragrances and it reminds me a lot of that black fragrance that there's, there was that real bitterness to it. And I think that's the Cypro raw materials in this and some Ben's weights, sort of making this a little bit too unpalatable. So I'll go through my marks with you. Um, technically, of course, it's really fantastic. I think it's fantastic from a very large house, but personally, I would, it feels a little bit unfinished and I would love to see the Cypro raw materials toned down and a little bit of sweetness put into it. And then it would sort of smell a little bit more composed for me. That's very personal. And you're just left with Cypro, which I really don't like at all. So I'm gonna mark it, I'm gonna mark it a four, a four for technical ability because I do think it's very, very good. Uh, price, I think it's excellent for the price. I think you're getting long lasting, projecting, masculine, aggressive. Do I like it? I don't like it. And that is the choice of raw materials. And I prefer sweet, resinous, if it's a masculine fragrance, to smell and down to be masculine, but to have some sweetness put into it. I'm going to mark it a, um, a 7 out of 10 in Peter because I really just don't like Cypro. But if you love that black fragrance, like for pennies, you'll love this. And this is not as aggressive as that one. How do I improve on it? I would add vanillin to it. I would add some fruit molecules i'd add some rose to it rose makes fragrances smell opulent expensive and adds an interesting dimension to this this to me smells quite one-dimensional and i would just love to see some sweetness to it and i'd just love to see some sort of some musks actually to help to round out the base of muscone or something a muscone is a, is a musk that smells of apparently it is the musk that human beings have but it can help to just sort of round out or cosmone for me it needs some sort of roundness to it and it's quite short, hard and robust, and I think maybe Cosmone or Muscone combined with Ethyl Maltol and some Vanillin would help to just round this off. This will also be really good if it has some a tobacco nuance to it, so if the Cypro was gone and you would have some tobacco nuances and if you have some sweetness to it, I think personally that would round this slightly in adding to some must, but that's very personal. So I hope you love that review, thumbs up and subscribe for more fascinating, interesting content. Lots of moving hands, lots of fragrance views. I hope you're staying safe and well, and I'll see you soon.